It's the tourist. Just in time. I got some stuff I need you to track down. Thanks for the business. Hey, I got an order from a friend of mine. They'll be here tomorrow night. Here you go! Hang around too long. The exchange is open. Leave your goods in this box. Take your loot out of that one. Thanks for the business. Hey, I got an order from a friend of mine. They'll be here. Second time's a charm. Chicken <laughs> <sighs> shit. It's a tough road going to long. Always a pleasure, tourist. How about another order? No rush. They won't be needing it until tomorrow.
So she has. Focus supply raid. Food cache spotted. Food supply confirmed. Buy water. Yeah? Let's get back to it. I'm gonna be up front with you, right out the gate. I backed the wrong horse. I admit it. And I'm hoping we can put my fuck up in the past and work on setting things right for the future. You're a piece of dog shit, Sonny. You fucked me over. You have every right to be angry with me, but put yourself in my shoes. Garrick said he just wanted to talk to you, okay? So, I had to make a choice. I got my daughter to think about. Now, I don't like being on anyone's bad side, but I figured I'd avoid the bad side right there in front of me. At the time, it was the correct deal. Where's your daughter? I want her in on this conversation. We had a little spat and she locked herself up in the closet. But this right here is between you and me. Is she gonna be okay? She'll come out when she's ready. I can hear you talking about me. Come on out and speak for yourself then. I got nothing to say to you. Leave me the fuck alone. She's a good kid, but she's impulsive and frankly fucking stupid sometimes. I raised that child from six months old, all on my own. It's been her and me against the world for 19 years. We've been tested and I have plenty of regrets. Nothing bigger than the arm. Had to cut it off after she got herself bit. Can you imagine having to do that to your own kid? Her begging you not to, screaming and crying. But there ain't nothing I wouldn't do for her. Of course, every time I remind her of that, she rolls her eyes. What happened to her mom? Her mom was a fool and dangerous. Let's leave it at that. Why should I let you live? Self-interest. We got this trade network, a mutually beneficial partnership. Now you can take me out, but my dead body is worth nothing to you. Alive, I could be the difference between you scrounging for crumbs and being the first one to eat. I'll cut you some slack, Sonny, but cross me again. And the partnership's over. I know this probably doesn't mean much, but you have my word. I found a photo of you. Figured you might want it. A photo? What are you talking about? Put it in the drawer. Been a long time since I've seen this. Look at me. I'm a baby. You look stoned. <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> Never a sober moment back then. Thanks for this, tourist. I don't get too many trips down memory lane these days. I always ask myself, did it ever even happen? But stuff like this reminds me that there was a life 
before hell opened the floodgate. Hold on. I got something for you. It's an old guitar signed by Slim Dog himself. Just gathering dust around here. But I figured you can give it a proper home. Will the two of you shut up, please? I'm trying to sleep. Stuff something in your ears, then. All right. Let's get back on track here. I got some bad news. Father Carter's gone silent. Haven't heard from him in over a week. This could be catastrophic. I'm sure he's fine. The preacher is surrounded by zealots with guns all day, every day. I hope you're right. We lose the Padre, everything we busted our ass to build is gonna crumble. The exiles really trust the guy. Get over to the French Quarter and see what the hell is going on with him. Stick to the daylight when you go looking, will you? For safety's sake. And when you find him, if he's still breathing, send him straight. Lay some of that tourist charm on him. Whatever works, but we need to keep him in the fold. I set him straight. I'm not above roughing up a holy man. Just be persuasive. I don't think you need to break any bones or cut off any thumbs, okay? Make sure he understands his role in all this. That is not just about our takes, but helping the downtrodden. Blah, blah, blah. Stuff he likes to hear. I'll see you when you get back with some good news. shines in your hair. Oh, it's you. My 
flock. My friends, they're gone. Butchered. Yeah, there's a lot of that going around lately. Killing is contagious. Death comes for us all. Every sinner, every saint. No matter. The way you go, that is of consequence. Deep. What's got you waxing so poetic on death, Padre? Mama came to me with the proposition. If I turned my back on my people, she would welcome me into her inner circle. The Chosen, she called it. Some nonsense like that. The fortunate few who would ride out the cunning storm behind the safety of the tower walls. She said that my talents would be useful in the dark times ahead. What did you say? I railed at her with a rage I never knew was in me, spitting threats like a foul-mouthed brute. How dare she? I told her she would burn for her sins. Damn, Padre. You some kind of gangster now? I don't know what I've become. I've lost myself. Mama said nothing. She just walked away. Two hours later, she returned in full force, slaughtered everyone. I ran and hid, in a hole, like a filthy, despicable rat. Get it together, Padre. We need to talk. This is together. Good Lord, my head swirling. I need more drink. I need to end this pain. Wait, you. You can help. No more booze. You're drunk as hell already. You need to listen to me. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. Mother. I, I dropped her. Uh, speakeasy. But where? Where? God. God. My brain is useless. I'm finished. She's gone. Leave me. Let me rot. Not gonna happen. Sober your sorry ass up and put your business pants on. You made a deal, and you need to hold up your end. You are unrelenting, but so am I. You have my word, I will entertain your chat. But my mother, she must be with me. Take this. That gets you in. The soda machine in the alley. Clever. The speakeasy lies beyond it. She'll be in there. Somewhere. God, my infernal head won't stop spinning. My crucifix. Her ashes in the air. I'll get it back for you. Thank you. Speakeasy as hell, tourist. Incarnate. Infested. Would not take it lightly.
What's about to happen? All right, let's do this. You and me. I'm gonna gut you.
死。
Expected. I saw you. Uh, thought I saw you down the street among the dead. Mouth full of flesh. I found her. Your mother. Just like I said I would. Let me see. Hello, mother. I can do this. With your help, I can do this. Not sure what's going on with you, but glad to help. Ah, booze. Did you happen to find any? Forget about it. Booze is the last thing you need right now. No booze? Fine. I have one last favor to ask of you. Sure. What is it? My whole life was spent considering the needs of others. But now I must relieve my own burdens. And, and you, you were the person best suited to help me do so. Put me out of my misery. One bullet through the brain. Oh, 
Hold on a second. Think this over. Take a day or two. Sober up. I've done nothing but think about it. There is no other way. End me. Sorry. But I'm not gonna play God. You need to decide your fate for yourself. Just fucking shoot me. May the Lord protect me and deliver me unto eternal life. <laughs> You're judging me. You. I can see it in your eyes. Disgust. You revile me. You want me to suffer. You want me to wallow in torment. I see it now. I've been blind, but now I see. You are the slithering, unholy beast walking among us. You trample upon the meek, the desperate, leaving only havoc and despair in your wake. You are to blame for this curse that has befallen me. Be gone, demon. May God damn your soul to the darkest, most vile pit. We do, huh? It's Garrick. Dude's been crossing names off his shit list. And we're next. He's after you? How'd you manage to piss him off? It ain't just me. Everybody in a five-block radius is in jeopardy. Garrick is the lunatic who cranked the bells for three days in Old Town. And according to my sources, he's coming for Bywater next. What's your plan? I know where Garrick's hiding out. You'd be surprised what intel you can get for a can of cream corn these days. Anyways, one of my contacts saw him coming and going out of the hotel and found an underground passage in the wine cellar. That should lead you to him. I'll take him out. But I'm not doing it as a favor for you, Sonny. Garrick's going down because I need him off my ass. As long as you eliminate him, I don't care why you do it. You get that firepower situation worked out yet? Grenade launcher. Enough said. All right, then. Warrior's code. <laughs> I get it. Oh, shit. With all this Garrick chatter, I forgot to ask about the preacher. All this stress is killing my brain cells. He's dead. Don't ask. Shit. I knew it was bad. World we live in, huh? Doesn't matter, though, I guess. We probably never needed that bullheaded son of a bitch in the first place. Exiles are better off without them. The trade network will be just fine, just fine.
Been a long time since I've seen this. Look at me. I'm a baby.
Be gone, demon. May God damn your soul to the darkest, most vile pit. Your soul to the darkest, most vile pit.